అమేజ్ ఫేట్ ఇస్ ఆన్ ఏ రోల్ గైస్ బ్యాక్ టు బ్యాక్ స్మార్ట్ వాచ్ లాంచెస్ సో టుడే ఇన్ ద హౌస్ వీ హ్యావ్ దేర్ బ్రాండ్ న్యూ జీటీఎస్ ఫోర్ మినీ స్మార్ట్ వాచ్ అండ్ అప్గ్రేడెడ్ వర్షన్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ ప్రీవియస్ జెన్ జీటీఎస్ మినీ సిరీస్ అండ్ దిస్ వన్ యాక్చువల్లీ ప్యాక్స్ ఇన్ ప్రిటి ఇంప్రెసివ్ ఫీచర్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ ప్రైస్ పాయింట్ దెర్ ఆర్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ దట్ దీస్ గైస్ హెవ్ అప్గ్రేడెడ్ అండ్ టుడే విల్ బీ అన్బాక్సింగ్ అండ్ చెక్ అవుట్ దిస్ స్మార్ట్ వాచ్ సో హియర్ యూ గాట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్స్ హైలైట్స్ మెన్షన్ ఇట్స్ గాట్ లైక్ అన్ అల్ట్రా స్లిమ్ అండ్ లైట్ వెయిట్ డిజైన్ కమ్స్ విత్ హెచ్ డి అమోలెట్ డిస్ప్లే వన్ ట్వంటీ ప్లస్ పోర్ట్ యాక్టివిటీ ట్రాకింగ్ ఇట్స్ ఫుల్ వాటర్ ప్రూఫ్ and these sort of stuff and talking about the colors we have the black color edition guys and it's also available in three other different color models and that is it there's nothing much written on the packaging so let's quickly get started with the unboxing let me grab my knife and cut the seal on the package and there you go as soon as you open the package we've got our brand new smartwatch at the top amaze fits all new gts4 mini and oh my god look at this thing it is so small and compact We'll just come back to this in a moment. In the package, you also get some paperwork and a magnetic pogo pin cable for charging. That is it. These are all the stuff you got in the box. And there you go. Our first look at Amazfit's all-new GTS 4 mini smartwatch. And initial impressions, I have to say, smartwatch looks quite beautiful, guys. I mean, it's like very slim and compact. and looks quite cute actually let me just peel off the sticker so we'll get like a better look at the smartwatch so this one actually packs like a squarish form factor display guys very similar to the previous gen smartwatch and on the front side it comes with a 1.65 inch hd amoled display that too with a 2.5d sort of curved glass at the top tempered glass and also has like anti fingerprint coating on it so basically like a premium sort of look and feel over here you also have like a beautiful metal crown on the right side with the amaze fit logo on it and i have to appreciate amazfit for the finishing it's got a beautiful chamfered edge at the top side which gives you that premium look and feel built quality is also very good it's like a mix between metal and polycarbonate watch case is made of like aluminum alloy while the bottom panel is made of polycarbonate material and not to forget gts4 mini is also like five atmospheres water resistant so almost 50 meters water resistant guys Talking about the straps, straps quality is also very nice. You get like soft and durable silicone straps and they're also replaceable to change them as per your convenience. And that's it, our complete overview and first look at the watch. What I'll do is I'll quickly set it up, use it for some time and then be back to continue the video. So boys, I'm back to continue the video and I've been using this smartwatch for the last few days and I'll be sharing my complete experience and feedback right now. So there are both pros and cons I'll be talking about this model. So make sure to watch this video till the end in case you plan to buy this smartwatch. First of all, now let's start off with the display. Amaze Fit's GTS 4 Mini comes with a 1.65 inch HD AMOLED squarish form factor display. And there's one thing I can say guys, display looks absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning display guys. Now come on. AMOLED matlab there is nothing less you can expect guys and on top of that it's got like very good resolution guys it has like 336 by 384 resolution and everything looks crisp and clear at this size uh, no matter it be text or any sort of content now it just pops out on the display and colors also look very rich and vibrant thanks that AMOLED panel especially like you view any sort of artistic wallpapers or maybe like watch faces right they look stunning on the display and talking about the viewing angles view Viewing angles are also nice. Brightness of the display is also like very good and bright. You can even view the display in bright outdoor situations also. No issues at all. See, for this price point, you will be super happy with the display on the smartwatch. Now moving on, not to forget that the watch is also 5 atmospheres water resistant. So basically 50 meters water resistant guys. You can even like throw it in a swimming pool. Nothing will happen to the watch. You can even put the watch and take a shower guys. Nothing's going to happen. And good thing is it also has like swimming activity tracking as well. And once you start and you know start swimming or go to a pool, it will automatically recognize that and start tracking your activity. So pretty cool stuff. We'll come to the activities and sports stuff in a moment. So what I'll do now, I'll just quickly give you like a closer look at the watch and the display and i'll show you all the software built-in apps and stuff and we'll talk about all of that so there you go this is how the smart watch looks like so this is how the display looks like guys and here we've got like a default watch face applied on it and talking about the watch faces by default you get around like two to three watch faces pre-installed on it but not to worry you can download so many cloud-based watch faces using amazfit zep compatible app guys it's available on both android as well as apple app stores you can download that install it on your phone and then you can download lots of watch faces 
So as usual guys, the whole UI is like very similar to the other Amazfit smartwatches. And one more thing I forgot to mention, along with your raise to wake function, since it has like an AMOLED display, right? This particular model also has always on display support. Lot of people keep looking for this and you know, keep asking me in the comment section. So yes, that feature is there over here. Swiping down on the home screen gives you an access to the status panel. Here you've got like a couple of uh, quick access toggles as well. It shows you the current battery level and you've got like a mini torch light option. D&D mode is there. Auto brightness function is also available on this thing and some other stuff. Now by swiping up on the home screen, you can quickly access the notifications area. Here you can check out all your recently received missed calls or maybe like any sort of social media messages. Now by swiping left or right on the home screen now, you can quickly access the widget present on it. So swiping left now gives you this quick access to your fitness summary. Uh, this is again your current day's fitness level like how many steps you've taken, distance traveled, calories burnt and these sort of stuff. Moving on you've got your HR measurement app and then you've got the weather widget which gives you like a complete weekly forecast and then you've got Amazfit Spy score app and then you've got sleep data analysis and this is your complete list of widget summary guys. So here you've got some more quick access toggles and these are also like customizable using your zep app and best the part about this watch is it also has alexa voice assistant support guys this thing actually has like a microphone on board and you just need to link your amazon account using the zep app and that is it alexa is like enabled on this thing you can ask any sort of question just click that alexa button and ask maybe like what's the weather right now or maybe like any sort of general knowledge question guys and alexa will give you the answer on the screen i really wish this thing had like a speaker on board and maybe you know it could could even give like voice output currently this is not available you only have like a microphone anyway still i have to appreciate guys pretty useful feature on this smartwatch so that is it our complete overview on the ui and navigation and if you talk about the watch performance watch performance is pretty good overall ui navigation app opening and closing everything felt smooth and stable didn't face much of lags or stutters though i wish the display had like 60 hertz you know refresh rate that would have made things like much more smoother but unfortunately thing is now these watches are like designed to offer like longer battery life Amazfit wants to offer longer battery life with lots of features so that is the reason they you know keep the refresh rate a bit limited because that will help you get higher battery life so that might be the only reason they're not going for 60 hertz now suppose if you want to access the complete list of apps present on the smartwatch you can easily do that by pressing this crown on the right side and just press that guys there you go you get the complete list of all apps available on this thing now now I won't go explaining every, each and every app guys because this is pretty much the same on all Amazfit smartwatches. You've got the complete lineup of health related features like 24 by 7 HR monitoring is there, blood oxygen SpO2 measurement is there, stress level measurement, sleep, sleep data analysis, basically all of these things are covered. Moving on you've got like 120 plus sport mode detection so a variety of sport activity tracking is available and lastly in the general and more related section you've got all your smartwatch related applications for example calculator is available compass is also there sun and moon tidal phase weather app is also available uh, stopwatch timer countdown world clock all of these are available so there's nothing amazfit has missed on this smartwatch so that is pretty much it guys our complete overview on the design ui and also the software stuff now let me tell you about the health related features so as I've told you just now guys, the GTS 4 mini has like complete lineup of health related functions. You got 24 by 7 HR monitoring, blood oxygen SpO2 measurement is there, stress level measurement is there, breathing exercises are built in and also has like auto sleep recording. And all of these functions were working very well, sensors were doing a good job and giving accurate results almost 95% of the time. And apart from that, talking about the sports and fitness related stuff, I've told you, right, it's got like 120 plus sport mode tracking. You've got your walking, running, cycling, treadmill, lots of sport activities are also there. Like swimming is also included because it's like complete five atmospheres water resistant, right? So that is also available. And best part about this smartwatch is it comes with built in GPS function, guys, and not just simple GPS. It has GPS with five satellite positioning systems. And let me tell you, during my test, 
testing i found the gps on this smartwatch to be like very accurate guys now again ames fit is not a new brand guys they've been making these sport related smartwatches since many years and you won't be disappointed over here gps on this model was working very well and that to like quite accurately guys it tracks the gps signal very quickly it catches the signal very quickly and gives you like an accurate geolocation data both on the smartwatch as well as the compatible zep app you'll get like full details on the app Okay now let me show you how you receive notifications on the watch again for this you'll definitely need to install the compatible zep app on your phone and then enable some permissions and that is how you'll be able to receive all sorts of messages social media messages or any sort of notifications on the watch and there you go this is how you receive messages so basically it shows you the name or number of the person sending that message or either it be from any social media and it also shows you the content of the message and this is how you receive call notifications guys basically it shows you the name or number of the person calling and you can either end or dismiss the call all right we are almost coming to an end so let me tell you about the battery life now first of all let me tell you don't judge a book by its cover guys even though it might look like a small watch battery life on this thing is actually quite impressive so this thing packs like a 270 milliampere built in battery and you know on a typical sort of usage for example you set the brightness to like auto level and you do a little bit of sport activity tracking and you have a little bit of health related feature functions using and then with this sort of usage now you can easily expect around like 14 to 15 days of battery life so once you charge the watch you can easily forget it for charging 2 weeks and it will non stop keep running for you now again if you are a bit of heavy user for example you always connect your smart watch with your phone via bluetooth keep getting notifications and keep using health related functions then for you people the watch might last for around like 7 to 8 days again lastly if you are like a super heavy user you are like a complete fitness freak you use gps a lot for your outdoor activities activities then you can expect around like one day battery life guys with continuous gps usage so this is the sort of battery you can expect on this model and that is it guys our complete video on amis fits brand new gts4 mini smartwatch absolutely beautiful smartwatch i love the design very stunning looking watch i can say beautiful amoled display and on top of that you are getting like five atmospheres water resistant and you are also getting like great gps plus five satellite positioning systems and also like very good battery life the only thing i felt it was missing was like a built in speaker guys because it also has a microphone right so if only the brand could have provided like a speaker on board you could have done things like bluetooth calling or maybe like voice recording or maybe alexa could also have given like a speaker output feedback that would have been like pretty cool and talking about the price now so amaze fit is actually having like a special launch day offer so this particular watch will go on sale on the launch day for 6999 rupees and after that it will come back to its original price of 7999 rupees so if you want to get this smart watch this is the right time links will be in the description box below. so you can check it out there and that's it i hope you all enjoyed watching the video make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one